Welcome back to Gun and Shot TV. This is Chris. So I've done a few videos on the M1917 revolver. So I've shown a couple Brazilian contracts. This is a Smith & Wesson actual military 1917, not a 1937 like the Brazilian contracts. But those all spun off of the Colt designed U.S. Army M1909. Now what this is... It's, it's in 45, but it's not in 45 ACP. This was the original design, and it was the Colt update to essentially what was the Colt Frontier. They had the Colt Single Action Army. They had a later double action Colt Frontier, and then they had this. This is designed to shoot 45 Long Colt, which is a black powder cartridge. And you may be wondering, why would we go back to a black powder cartridge in 1909? Well, in the 19, late, late 1890s and early 1900s and 1898, we were given, by treaty, after the Spanish-American War, the Philippines. And in the Philippines, we had some issues fighting the Moros due to their unique fighting style. I'll try and make a whole video about that. But what we found was our 38 um, revolvers that we had switched to in the 1890s were not cutting it. So the Army went back and found all those Frontier and Single Action Army um, guns in 45 Long Colt and were reissuing them. And then they went to Colt and said, what can we get, you know, a more modern revolver that shoots that 45 Long Colt cartridge. So they came out with this design. And then, like I said, this design was turned into the 1917 uh, this is a Smith, but Colt had the same essential gun in the 1917, and that's chambered in the 45 ACP. So, like I said, this is and this is called like a Colt New Service. These were really common, um, large frame Colt revolvers and all kinds of different calibers. Like I said, 45 Long Colt, 45 ACP, but um, kind of crude. I don't really like the Colt action. It for some reason seems weird to me. Um, the advantage is it spins the opposite direction and the cylinder latches and pulls tighter when it latches. In theory, I don't really see the action as being that strong, but uh, I'm not an engineer, so I can't tell you for sure. And this one's seen some hard use. There's a lot of like weird cracking and or not cracking, but some sort of like surface etching or deterioration, probably holster wear from sitting in this holster for God knows how long when my father came across it. And um, obviously 45 long Colt is not the cheapest thing to shoot unless you reload, but it is a it is a decent gun and a nice shooting gun, kind of a heavy, long trigger pull compared to what we're used to with modern guns. But uh, definitely a neat piece of military history or, you know, a neat uh, to say that you've got uh, the gun that really <laughs> kind of took over before the 1911. So, for Gun and Shot TV, this is Chris saying have a great day and thanks for watching.